are fawns who facing the lion die of fright just thinking the lion might be hungry. Sidious, circa 400 BC. More intent on pleasure than matters of salvation. Arch poet, circa 1165. Eternal bondage and a bed of need. To a daughter of flesh from a man of dust, a plagiarism of love's bastardizing history. Ye Shepherd Swain's seductive passion for Yin Hindi Shepherdess. 1. Slusty whispers hot honeyed breath sweet as rain pours for us from soul to soul, O oh as blossoming love. Your pleasant coo, O oh dove, is more melodious than the music of the water as it plashes. Listen. Wayward and wildly pounds heart throbs swan song, there is a dreamy lioness who lives amongst us. A slender, lovely, graceful creature fair, and fay, whom I watch with foolish eyes, because I love her. Her cheeks smell fragrant like, spice beds overflowing with myrrh, her purity and innocence flushed and flesh blushed, ivory pearled, fresh, lapis lazuli veined, marble pillars upon gold bases. Radiant, airy and light rising aglow, a fiery rock risen into the empire eel zenith, sprite fluttering o'er the volcanic mountain aflame. And her voice, the gift of the swallow, flittering, calling to me, altogether more delightful than sweetness. I am my lover's and she is mine. Wide-eyed doves, together in places gladdening, can you imagine that song, little swallow? My heart. Dear lover, sings lovest never harmed me. 1 a.m. My lover's mouth is a damp bedewed lotus, her breasts mandragoras, dawn mist, lovers abed, two hearts obedient in their beating made one. My life caught up with yours. Your beauty dust bind me. And you, O oh dear dove, my heart strives to reach the height of your love sweet like your hair, though you're in the net that dust ensnare me, O oh, unable to resist the temptation of thy bait, whilst I entangle in thy love, unable to break free, caught, captured, in your net, caught up as I am and made your slave. A poor fool before you, and when the shadows go dark, quiet, you bring to light what is hidden. O oh, daughter of flesh, let us, you and I alone sort these matters out. Fear nothing. I shall be tame. I shall behave and reach, if I reach, to soft touch, breast and thigh, go bear, go bear, still virgin to me. Thine hot lippest ne'er touched mine to gain mine desire. O oh, sing for me that delightful song which drives all, hold back nothing. Drive all things out of my mind. I say no more, but take in hand, and lay thee down upon myriad flowers and slide my hand under to still the fear in thine flame eyes. O oh, thine flame eyes! 2. Art thou trembling like a fawn, quiet, panting? I caress hot breasts with a light lingering look. The one I grope. The other lips touch. I swear, goddess, I don't know which pure flame-tipped heap I want the more. Mouth to mouth joined we lie, your naked breasts. Wanton for my fingers, for my fury, deep down grazing on the silvery plain of thy warbling throat. Come with me, my love, come away, the storm must burst and the rains have fed the earth and left it fiery bright with blossoms. Birds wing on the low sky singing, dove and swallow flitter in the open on high. And the vine tendril curls shaded by down a leaf, but for me, love never sleeps. She scorches ablaze as lightning, and she shakes me to the root, storming out of the airy heavens, my heart overwhelming. I was drowsy, but my heart is awake. Listen. Lover, O oh my love, open and let me in, my dove. My perfection. My head is soaked. My hair is drenched with dewdrops, of nights passing into morning mist. 3. Oh I caressed the beauty of all her body and came furiously in a sudden white spurt while I didst stroke her hair. The hair of her I love. 
My hands are sticky with mu. Fingers dripping mu. How sick I am with love. Thy face is purest gold. Thy hair is a heap of curls. Thine eyes float like two birds over a pool suspended, bathed in creamy milk. Without you and your love, my heart would beat no more. Without you and your love, sweet dust sour bitter. Without you and your love, my love, I cease to live. Oh listen. Darling, mine heart's life dust need you, love, for when you breathe, mine is the heart that, aching, beats. With candor I confess my love. I love you, yes, and wish to love you closer. And wish you'd love me. Let not your heart be troubled during your sojourn, here, down upon the flooded earth, flooded by thine love. Put incense and sweet oil upon you, garlanded flowers at thy breast. Let sweet music play before you. Count, if you can, each plangent wave that comes ashore, from every possible sea. Count, if you can, every leaf on every tree. And count each wave that comes ashore from every possible sea compute, if you can, the countless loves all the infinite passions of eternity wherein you take my breath away, made prisoner, entangled in the fabric of your net of love. And quickening in love, oh at your gentle laughter that stings my breast and jolts my heart if I so dare the shock of a glance. And I cannot speak. My tongue sticks in my dry mouth. My lips parch wanton. Thin fire spreads beneath my skin. My eyes cannot see. And my roaring ears echo in secret labyrinths. Chill sweat glides down my back. I turn greener than grass. I shake. I am neither living nor dead, and cry. It is the middle of the night and time blurs on. And the hours go by. And alone and not sleeping. I am neither living nor dead and cry inside, out of the lost empty, our desire loosening arms, knees, thighs, sharing looks more melting than honey. What honey would you rather eat? Than that nectar which the humble bumblebee spun from love's sweet seat. What distillation ever comes more dear than, or more creamy rich and pure than from her honeycomb? Love in its fullness like a peach for us to share. Hearts hunger all can understand our mouths, hot and wet, dripping with sweet honey, our mouths, joy, sticky of slusty ambrosia gleaned of deft earth scattered flowers, gently budding. Oh the birds exult you and herald in your coming and nothing glorious or beautiful can be without your coming forth, the phoenix rising, bringing lasting gifts for your man of dust. Saying, Alas, my lover, th hast taken from me. Th hast taken from me. Your lover's tears have made wet. 3b. Let us live only for loving, oh, each other. Let us lust only for each other's mouth's kisses, to kiss each other, and taste and explore each other. Give me a thousand kisses, then a hundred and more without pause volumes of kisses. More than kisses. And two mouths breathing together each other's breath. Give me a thousand kisses, then a hundred and more without pause, volumes of kisses. More than kisses. Eyes opening. And closing. Two bodies, curled, and curled tresses a love cave around thy face. My eyes feasting on naked shoulders breasts, and thighs. And, O oh goddess, tomorrow love shall have its way with ingenue and oldy ruin veigling, lovers. And blossoms. And myrtle sprays alive with whispers. 3c. Tomorrow all will all commingle in desire. Let us live only for loving, O, oh, each other. Let us lust only for each other's mouth's kisses, to kiss each other and taste, and explore each other. Give me a thousand kisses, then a hundred and more without pause, volumes of kisses. More than kisses. 
wouldst that kisses take me from thy mouth to mine? 3D. O oh goddess. An empty bed is hard kept alone. Even every virgin wonders loss each sunset as each moon Reese discovers lovers' intricate postures, as love rides rough shod o'er every heart, all. O oh goddess. Tomorrow love will reign over all, over every fish and bird and beast, all hearts. She is alone now. Two halves made whole. There is no other. Bright with her myriad pleasures, an enchanting flowering fragrance spreading like a fiery flood. And dawn drowns in deep brown eyes, head whirling. Mute. Unable. Dumbstruck with longing and hope, our hearts bursting. O oh goddess. An empty bed is hard kept alone. Give me a thousand kisses, then a hundred and more without pause, volumes of kisses. More than kisses. 4. The friendly earth spreads its roses over the whole land, gathered everywhere and lasting forever because of love binding, you who would violate my love, bright morning star, rising on pink horses, came, quickening, oh that gladdened day th host enlightened. Peach blossoms crowd the river banks as far as sight. And drifting to the water's source. I see no one. Clarity of the moon brings quiet to quickened hearts. And when the sun rises out of clouds at daybreak, flowers sweeping brightness, paradise coli, sparkling diamonds glistening dewy radiance, phoenix tail on scented silk, stitched deep into night, the fan sliced moon not hiding her glowing full shame. Wouldst our love stand a rock for all eternity, unchanged forever but life does not allow us to hold the passage of time even for a moment. Whether I be cursed or whether I die. I die. 4b. And laughter and songs rose up flowering blossoms smooth as silk, fragrant as orchids and white as jade, her lips red, cheeks blushing. Oh even more crimson. Shouldst I once more know the warmth of thine features fair, all my life will I give thanks to pure azure skies, yielding to a love that recognizes no bounds, going to you by night treading the paths of dreams, soundlessly to pad around and prowl without fear, blood-fueled, tempestuous, fluid floating, a kiss. A floating sea foam body that waits for soft hands. Oh your gathering hands washed by fragrant perfume, your lips that scatter peach blossoms. And cherry blossoms. And, oh bliss, perfume stirred around them when they stirred, like odor of clove on a fresh breeze. And tears flowed o'er your throat and o'er my throat as free as blood flows. Waves of flowers being banded like dust, as though a breeze had quickened the sea and set it blooming. I delight in your words. I delight in your inexhaustible love as sand on a beach. Blossoms whose hue is paler than it once was. But we warblers in the shade of blowing blossoms, are utterly changed, our secret kept by damp mists, scented rising from our garlanded court of love. If you love me true, if you love me pure, then come. Then come, love, for love, our love is not forbidden. I delight in your words. I delight in your love. Your inexhaustible love as sand on a beach. Who is in thy heart daughter of flesh? Is no one. Is no one is in thy heart. O daughter of flesh. O daughter of flesh, who is in thy heart? Who? Who? No one is on thy mind O daughter. In thy heart. 5. Th host settest mine heart to trembling, for th art savage and a primal temptress of torrid fantasies, you'll embrace none like I, no wreath of roses, of slipping between the cool sheets of dusk and dawn, along a body like thine own, O oh my lover, an unblemished body like thine, but not blameless. Singing birds flit and dance, music in all their throats. Thighs moist, pliant, tender, and full-blooded glowing, but night veiled like a breaking wave broke o'er me and the water began to come down. 
and I drown. Wouldst that thy kisses take me from thine mouth to mine, or like a meadow after rain, liquid languor in mournful light amid drowsy-headed poppies. O felicity of sleep that comes to set free and careless, through the eyes making sweet ingress, love's progress brings for us dreams. Soft blowing wind blows whispers, to mesmerize, after love's blandishing. 5b. I've sported with you, totally at my leisure. Lithe throat and neck not ungainly. Oh not a flaw. Voluminous curls cloistered, strands twined, raveled and unraveled. And waist as supple as breath. I took your curls in my hand, thy slender white flanks, tender thy ankles, shapely thy belly, taut, white as whiteness where whiteness first blends into amber nourished on the way of unstirred waters. Do I, shy, hovering o'er a polished cheek? Oh not a flaw. Lithe throat, and neck, not ungainly. Oh not a flaw. Voluminous curls clustered, strands twined, raveled and unraveled, and a waist supple as breath. De weary eyes, lovely, to sleep after love's strain but lovelier to wake from sleep to love again. New ecstasies of sense and soft exchange of breath all past sugary experience languishing. Beloved I mourn your conquering arms. Your free hand. Your flushed white cheek blue shimmering jet tresses, silking doves rouge. I have brought my praise, bright praise in poetry to Lord Beauty Honey Sweet, by a silver-tongued poet's words. I am eager for one who offers her true love, the one sublime gift freely shared of intimate souls. 5c. Oh nothing endures. Nothing but wounds and kisses. Oh wound me with the kisses of thine soft pink lips, a soft bed of flowers, thy tongue and thy secret. Feast with me on wild berries till our mouths are stained, and our hands drip with sticky sweetness. Yours. Mine. Both. All this world means nothing at all. Nothing. Better to die than bear such torment, sorrow, pain. You are beautiful past measure, my lady fair. My heart is yours evermore. Torment. Sorrow. Pain. Finest. I die of thirst at the fountain side, hot as fire, my teeth chattering. I burn, still, shivering, naked as a worm, clothed in laughter, and in tears. And, O oh my love, which by thy fault is fallen dead as at the meadow's edge a flower lies, and dies, your dulcet laughter all of which drains my senses as dry as bone, impartially melting away in joy, dreamy, swollen, catching your scented breath. Smell of myrtle and roses and all things growing gently disposes of all our hearts undoing, and the heart in weariness after love's commerce softly reposes, like fallen blossoms, in dreams. We lie where the winds have blown us. Blown you. I must beg thy pardon. Sweet sin is so deadly. I am dead but ardent. Striken by thy beauty. Blown me. 6. From the translucent moon from the UN risen sun. Two shadows laying together. Two lies made one. Not a breath remains in my throat, not a whisper. Nothing is left. Not clenched minds, not locked limbs. But dawn, rabid with need, mind choked with urgent want, born on lightness of her new freed body forged woman pink lips bending to lion tongue quivering. The trembling of the hair. The trembling of the fawn. I am sure of nothing but life's uncertainty. Song of Songs 814, Be thou like to a roe or to a young heart upon the mountains of spices.